So I'm Austin Jacobs. I'm a real estate agent um, in Southeast Idaho, have been for about four years. Um, I got Landon Kessler with me as well here today. He's with Idaho First Mortgage. Yeah. So before the feds came out yesterday and raised the rates, what was the rate um, for, a, for a home buyer in today's market? I mean, good credit scores. What was the, what was the average rate that we were looking at? I think if you looked at like a prime borrower, you, you mean before they before the rates. feds came out and, and changed yeah. the rates? I, I think we were seeing stuff around five point two five to okay. five point three seven five. Okay, and then the feds came out, made their announcement, you know, changed it yep. a half percent, um, and and what are, what are they today? What are we seeing today? Same, same rate. Same rate. Okay, so they haven't changed. They haven't changed. Got it. I mean, they got like I said, the market got a little bit better. Okay, yesterday, and then it got worse today. Yeah. So when you say so it got be better, did it go down a little bit? The rates went down a little bit that day? Yeah, and we gotta be careful about talking about rates because rates don't always change from day to day, but the, but the price of those interest rates okay. changes. Okay. Like five and a quarter maybe got more expensive in the morning. Yep. Then it got cheaper in the afternoon when the market flipped. Okay. And then today it got more expensive again. Okay. And then it got cheaper. As the, I mean, it's just, yeah. that's what markets do. They go up and down. And it takes quite a bit of a movement to actually change interest rates, but, but yeah, it's a, the steady moves in the wrong direction is what's causing rates to go up over okay. time. Yeah. Okay. So today's, in today's markets, if, if you had a somebody, a buyer that called you, they have, they're, they're a prime borrower, they have good credit, um, they're looking to buy, buy a home on a 30 year mortgage, they're still in that five and a quarter. Yeah, I would say anywhere between five and a quarter and five and a half, okay. depending on the lender that you choose. Okay, yeah. that's kind of the variance of what we're Yeah, seeing. you see about a quarter percent range from lender to lender sure. as you sure. shop around and, and try to find the best deal for yourself. Yeah. That's probably what you can expect, expect in today's market. Okay. And so if you're an investment, if you're buying an investment property, it's higher than that. Yeah. Yep. It's typically half to three quarters of a point higher. Okay. So expect something in the 6% range okay. for investment properties. So multifamily, anything two doors or more is probably going to be in the 6%. Yeah. 6% and above maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's, I mean, what's the highest rate you've seen, I guess? Since the, since rates have increased? Sure. Yeah. 6.125 okay. is the highest. For an investment. We, for an investment property. Okay. Second homes, okay. you know, some situations, manufactured homes, a little less than perfect credit, those types of things. Sure. Yeah. So with the Fed's announcement, um, I mean, it, do we do we see that changing throughout the rest of the year? I mean, is it they're continually going to be um, raising the the Fed rate? Yeah. Do we anticipate that the actual rate for the consumer is going to stay the same? Or tell us about that. I get asked that question daily, like. Landon, where do you think rates yeah. are going to go from here? You love that question. Oh my I'm gosh! Sure, if, right? <laughs> if you would have asked me in December, in January, where did I think rates would be? Uh, I'd say you're crazy that if we got over four percent this sure, year. Sure. And then it got to four percent, and I'm like, yeah. oh, there, it can't go over five percent. Yep. And then here we are. Do I think there's a ceiling? Probably not, because anything can happen. The Feds can increase the the rate at which they increase the federal fund rate. Yeah. The inflation can continue to get out of control right? and rates continue to climb. I mean, but if I was a betting man, yeah. I just can't imagine that they go above this average. I actually look back over the last 50 years because yeah. I was curious, where have rates been? I've been in this business 16 years now. When I first got in the business, rates were in the sixes and sevens. This was back in 2000, you know, the mid sixes or mid 2000s. Then the crash happened and of course, that's when we saw some of these really great rates because they had to stimulate the economy. And we did a bunch of refinances and then the purchase market came back. And probably for a decade of my career, we've been in that high threes to low four range, mm -hmm. just very stable, yep. great rates. And then all of a sudden COVID hits and we see these unbelievable rates in the twos and we got spoiled. Yeah. And so here we are going back up to kind of where averages have been over the last 50 years sure. in this mid five range. Yep. So I have a hard time believing we'll get over that, but anything's possible. Sure, sure. Yeah, and it, it's a tricky question, right? There, yeah. No one really knows. There's too yeah. many variables, but uh, appreciate your insights on that. Yeah. So it's interesting. You know, it's, it's, it's good information to, you know, be aware of, right? So. Well, I would say, you know, people, people always want to know, like, is it a good time still to buy a home or yeah. to take out a loan when rates are this high? And you just have to look at it in, with that bigger perspective. 
you know, borrowing money at 5% interest mm -hmm. is really not that bad. Yeah. It's really still pretty good. And of course, we've seen really uh, you know, a lot of price increasing in our area, appreciation in the market. That makes it challenging for you know certain people to buy, but sure. it's still really affordable money. It's not cheap money to borrow, but it's affordable yeah. money to borrow. So yeah. don't get discouraged. I think yeah. it's uh, still yeah. a, a really good time to buy and borrow. It's just, you gotta be smart about it, make sure it fits within your budget. Yeah. No, that's good insights. Well, cool. Well, thanks for your time today. Yeah, absolutely, anytime. Okay.